the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We say all together, you are so lovely. And also, Happy New Year. <laughs> In Jesus' name. So how gracious to see you and to celebrate all together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As uh, we know, today is uh, the feast of the baptism of the Lord. How gracious to be baptized. We have been all, obviously, baptized. But sometimes we couldn't understand what does it mean in baptism. Because most of you, most of us, uh, I'm sure, being baptized when we were a child. Me, too, uh, after, after one month or something like that, uh, my parents brought to the church, parish church and uh, being baptized and gave me the name and called and Andrew. Not typical uh, Korean name, but you know, the uh, saint name, so Saint Andrew Apostle. From time to time, growing, I could understand what it means, the sacrament of baptism. It is very important. If we don't understand about what God gave us, obviously, we have never said, thank you God for giving me these things. But once you know, you understand what it means, the holy sacrament, you could say, thanks God, you gave me this holy baptism. So it's very you know, shortly, even though we know very well, why do we need to be all baptized or baptism for our life? As we know very well, God has created everything and uh, include the human. Especially human is very important as a companion of God. So God has uh, created uh, with his image. God wants human to stay with God forever. That is God's love. So we say God is love. Love is this one. Love is not stay in own or himself. But love is expand, spread, want to donate or give or share everything, not to have. So God wants to share his love, especially to human. But unfortunately, human has uh, committed sin. I mean, human uh, separate from God. So human has no more hope to be perfect, to be holy, and to be in eternal life. But fortunately, God loves too much human, you, individual. So he has decided to send us his beloved son, Jesus. Think about the Bible, the Old Testament. Normally we divide the, you know, the Old Testament and New Testament. But obviously, this, when we see the Bible, just one book, not, not one book. We know very well, the Catholic believe 73 books and the Protestant believe the Bible 66. So the Old Testament did the last book of the Old Testament is uh, Malachi or Malachi, one of the uh, excellent prophet, Malachi or Malachi, Malachi in, in, in English, yeah, Malachi. From the Malachi to the John the Baptist, do you know how many years were there? 400 years between prophet of uh, Malachi to appearance of uh, John the Baptist. So for 400 years, darkness or nothing, no presence of God, but continually God manifested through the, you know, the, uh, his word, the word of God, the prophetic words, all the kings, all you know, the many other you know, pentateuch from the Genesis, etc. So, Jewish people uh, hoped to see or to meet, to uh, expect the Messiah. After 400 years, finally, 
someone came and it was very strange. Uh, he was living in a desert and also he uh, lived in a desert and, uh, with uh, not normal food but what is it, the locusts and honey. So it's, it, it's very, very you know, unusual thing. But he said, repent, because the kingdom of God is here. So repent and receive the baptism. Repent your sins and forgiveness. Repentance, very important. So people saw him and said, oh, he who is probably the Messiah, which we are waiting. So many people followed him and also received the baptism because they know the human sins is terrible. Without sin, we cannot enter in the kingdom of heaven. So one and another, everybody followed John the Baptist. Finally, today, today's Holy Gospel is this one. And Jesus was there, one of them, and came to the John the Baptist and said, please, I want to be baptized too. But John the Baptist knew who was Jesus Christ. So no, no Lord, you not you, but me, I have to be baptized from you. But Jesus said, you do it, because if you do, all righteousness will be complete. So it means with uh, my baptism, everyone will be saved. Very in you know, a simple word anyway. Okay, so Jesus finally been baptized, even though no sin, no doesn't need to forgiveness. We yes, because we are sinners, so we need to be baptized and forgiveness. But Jesus no. But why? Big question. Why we use this uh, baptism font? Because entering in the water, receiving the ba baptism, all water, especially the baptism font, will be holy. Those who baptized from this uh, baptism font, they will be participate in the divine life. For this reason, Jesus, even though no sin, but being baptized. Because of all Jordan River, water, all of the world water will be purified and will be holy. So it's very important for us how gracious Jesus received the baptism for me and for you, for everyone. And the other things is very important too. Now, when all the people had been baptized, in fact, as us, and why Jesus, after his own baptism, was at prayer. When Jesus, after his own baptism, not just the full stop, finished everything, no. He was in prayer. So, now why the many Christians come to the church, go to the church, but many, they don't go to church, they don't have a worship. You know why? Because they cannot understand about holy sacrament of baptism. Baptism, not just you receive, like a passport, once you, know, the, you see and you pass the airport. Not that one. Once you receive the baptism, means you need to live, practice in your life as a Christian. Oh, with the word, with the prayer. Jesus gave us in the Holy Gospels today. Now, when all the people had been baptized, and why Jesus, after his own baptism, was in prayer. So when you pray, what happened? When Jesus prayed, what happened? Heaven opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily shape like a dove. 
So when you pray, not because it's nothing to happen, but when you pray, open the heaven and come down to you, Holy Spirit, the presence of God. How important this prayer is uh, like a petrol, like a fuel, like a diesel, like a food. Without fuel, obviously, no? You cannot drive your car, doesn't work. So you need to, no? Even though sometimes expensive or cheap, but must put, you know, the fuel. In Christian life, the same things must put in our heart the fuel. This is, we know, the prayer. So how important, somebody yesterday or today the, said, but Father, I don't know how can I pray to pray. I want to pray, but I don't know. I said simply, when you need, you know, when you are half hungry, what you say? I'm saying, I'm hungry. And then if somebody you know, has food, what will you say? Please give me some food. Chef. Yeah, that is prayer. Not you, you don't think about you know, the, as a worship, when you oh, I need to know some, you know, the word, I, I don't know, you know, how can I... The prayer is there. What you want, your heart, obviously. What is right things, no? If you pray, oh, please, may I could uh, uh, king of this, this world. It is, that is not, you know, right prayer. So prayer is your, what is the... Uh, respiration or inspiration of your life. So part of very important of your life. And the voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. My favor rests on you. Definitely, definitely, Jesus is now getting to start to the mission. The mission of God the ministry of God and evangelism of God. So we have been all baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We too, we are getting to do in mission, ministry, evangelism too. How can we do? We proclaim the Holy Gospel, spread this good news, God is one, but we believe God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. As you know, the first time comes or manifestation about Trinity. God the Father, like a voice, you are my son, the beloved, my favor rests on you. God the Son, Jesus Christ, who be baptized now. And God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily shape, like a dog. So one, love one another, share one another, and serve one another, in the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.